remember what the haters talking about. What's up, family? Comedian Mark Curry, who rose to stardom with his sitcom, Hanging with Mr. Cooper, is pissed off at Steve Harvey. Get in line. What did this guy do this time? Mark Curry says that Steve Harvey stole his material, not once, but twice. He first put Steve Harvey on blast last month on the Mike and Donnie show when he says Steve Harvey stole his Halloween bit. He says he knows that Steve Harvey stole his Halloween bit because it was a personal story. He was talking about himself growing up and going Halloweening. So it was no mistake about it that it came from the brain of Mark Curry. Mark at the time said, man, why you got to steal my stuff? He said he confronted Steve Harvey at the Def Jam 25 back in 2017. Said, man, why you got to steal my stuff, man? You taking food out of my mouth. You taking money out of my pockets. So he said, man, if, if you need some jokes, you know, holler at me and I'll tell you how to do it. If you're going to steal my jokes, at least do them right. Call me. I'll tell you how to deliver the joke. Mark is really hot about Steve Harvey stealing his jokes. I know he's hot because I spoke to him on New Year's Eve, specifically about a Steve Harvey stealing jokes. And he told me, yeah, man, dude is a joke stealer. And I knew he was dead serious because I could see it in his face. If Steve Harvey had been in front of Mark Curry at that time, Mark probably would have ripped his head off his shoulders if he could have beat me to him. In any event, this dude got all of that money. He got people who can write jokes for him. I'm sure if he paid Mark a good amount of money, Mark could write him some jokes instead of stealing the man jokes. The dude has no pride whatsoever. You can tell it's like, fool, don't you know this man got the ability to put you on blast? I mean, he's still a celebrity himself. He may not have the shine that Steve Harvey has, but Mark Curry can get a message out there to the public if he wants to get a message out there. He acts like no one was going to ever find out that he stole Mark's material. I believe Mark Curry 1,000%, just as I believe everybody else who's had the misfortune of doing business with that dude or being around him. The dude is just bad energy. And he gets over because, you know, some people, they don't mind sacrificing their convictions for entertainment. As long as you can make them laugh, they'll side with you. Like some people, he make them laugh. I don't know how, because he one of the corniest dudes I've ever known. Like he's super corny. You know, I'm talking about on a star level. Yeah, you know, he's above the average dude that's just jumping up on the stage and trying to do comedy. But I'm talking about as far as the, the kings of comedy. He should never have been on that stage as a king of comedy. He trash. Like Steve Harvey is garbage on the entertainment, on the comedian side of things. I know, I know dozens and dozens and dozens and dozens and dozens of comedians who are much better than him. If I had to list comedians right now, if I had to put a top 200 list together, he wouldn't even be on the list, 300 lists. He, I'm, I'm serious. It ain't just because I don't like him. He's just not a funny dude to me. He's a, he's, he does slapstick comedy, clown, all that buffoonery stuff, all that, all that looking, making those stupid faces and stuff. He, he rely on that kind of stuff. All that, uh, all that slapstick stuff. You know, all showing all them big old horse teeth and all that stuff. He got to rely on that kind of stuff to get a laugh. 
And for some people, that's cool, but I am a comedian connoisseur. I'm a comic connoisseur. I understand comedy. I have a high IQ when it comes to comedy. And he ain't got it. So I believe that he steals other comics material. That's probably how he got those gigs on NBC. Stealing other people's material. So the second time Mark says he stole his stuff when, is when he stole from him. Mark couldn't figure out what, what it, he couldn't name it. He said it was either Little Big Shots or it was Kids Say the Darnest Things. TMZ reported that it was Little Big Shots. So, but in any event, stealing is stealing. And I 1000% believe Mark Curry. Mark has always been a stand-up guy in Hollywood, one of the few. He ain't got no uh, big scandals and stuff or even just negative stuff following him around. You know, he, not, he don't get caught up in all that goofy shit like Steve Harvey does all the time. He has a reputation for getting caught up in goofy shit. That's Steve Harvey. So I believe Mark Curry just as I believe everybody else who has ever had the misfortune of having to cross that dude's path, including his baby mama. Now, I heard that this dude allegedly put his wife out of the house that he and her shared and allowed a dude, a white dude, to live in the house rent free. He made his child's mother homeless and gave shelter to a stranger. That's y'all, that's Steve Harvey, y'all. That's the one that some of y'all are always trying to look for an excuse for. Steve Harvey. The dude, he is pathetic. Mark, I, I hope Mark would sue dude. He needs to sue him. And get at NBC also. They're allowing this dude to put out that type of uh, information. They're allowing this dude to steal jokes and tell him on their program for ratings and laughs. So they're responsible for, the, for him. So if I was Mark, I'd get at all of them probably sue the audience for laughing. Y'all have to give me mine. This dude is stealing from people who he don't even have to steal from. He don't have to steal at all from anybody. He got it. But he's stealing from the little guy. I can't stand that, man. Steve Harvey, your mama should be embarrassed and your daddy should have pulled out. No more talk. What the haters talking about?